We do have some weather. It's out there, but it's just not right here in Stockton yet. We're at 56 degrees currently. Southeast wind blowing at eight miles per hour and dry conditions in the Stockton area. Lake Tahoe also seeing uh, again a little bit of a sunny look off to the east and the sun's coming up, giving us a little color in the cloud cover that's kind of banked up along the west slope of the Sierra. 48 degrees, the current temperature, a very mild start for you there. And southerly winds blowing at 28 miles an hour, also being kicked up by this weather system that's bringing some rain. Again, we're looking at some rain, moderate to heavy at times, right here. This line coming off of the Pacific, cutting across to just to the north of Marin County and on towards uh, Yuba City and Marysville. Heaviest rainfall so far this morning has been falling in the Lake County area. Lake County area, and we're seeing this also through Napa County <clears throat> with that rain pushing on into a Lake Berryessa and then uh, making its way towards places like Arbuckle. Calusa has been seeing some light rain, heavier rain though, just a few miles to the north and to the west there in Lake County is where we're seeing some of that heaviest rain. But this is going to stall, and as it stalls, that's going to be a concern because a lot of rain is going to be falling. Uh, and continuing to fall through certain areas just right there along the I-80 corridor. And it's not till we get into tomorrow that we have this next weather system out here that's going to bump that on through and bring us more widespread rain to our area. So this is the line of rain that's going to really see some accumulation. If you're underneath one of those bands of heavier rain that sits for a while, that's where we could see some concerns for some possible localized flooding in small streams, creeks, uh, urban areas. Storm drains just can't keep up sometimes when you have a situation like this. Here we go Friday. This weather system moves through. We see more widespread rain through Friday afternoon, and then we catch a little bit of a break on Saturday, although it's not going to be a complete break. We are still going to see some areas of rain, but uh, we will have that brief break and then some more rain with another storm rolls in by Sunday. Here we are about 4 p.m. We could see some areas of moderate to heavier rainfall and also a better chance for some significant snowfall at that time as snow levels are going to drop down to or below 4,000 feet. Little ridge starts to build by Tuesday and Wednesday. It's going to bump up our temperatures, but look at the rainfall again where we're going to see that line setting up right in here. You see the Bay Area on towards Marysville and Yuba City. This is where we're going to have just a wall of water, so lots of water falling and then not so much from Sacramento South through Stockton and Modesto Lake Tahoe. Not so much, although we will see some scattered showers in around Blue Canyon and maybe even some areas along Highway 50 and then Friday's storm. We're going to tack on to it and we'll see more widespread rain where we could see up over half an inch in places like Modesto. Wind speeds again generally ranging between 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts of 20 today. Those winds taper off and then we see some more on Friday afternoon with wind speeds a little bit stronger with gusts again up over 20 miles per hour. Seven day forecast. Clouds, a little bit of rain, more widespread rain, a little bit more wind on Friday, Saturday a break, and then another storm rolls in by Sunday.